All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to Montana Low Gear. I know I haven't been around in a while. I uh, just want to get got, get you kind of caught up. What I did was I found a really, really cheap uh, engine wiring harness for an O2 uh, Jeep TJ online, and I went ahead and bought it. Uh, I paid $10 for it, but I had to pay him $40 to make it worth his time to ship it to me. So that was a hell of a deal. Uh, they never go that cheap. And this gives me a really cool opportunity to build another wiring harness for another Magnum swap and uh, and take my time with it and kind of show you guys more of what I do. So uh, the first thing we want to do here, guys, is we want to talk about uh, uh, putting, a, putting together a nice binder, a nice binder for notes uh, so that you can go through these each connectors and see what you're looking at and understand what you're looking at. And uh, that's what I'm basically going basically gonna to go over today. Everything else is going to be kind of down the road. We're going to go as we go. Um, so that's what we're up to, guys. Uh, here is how to set up your binder for your Magnum wiring swap. Or your, your <laughs> here is how to set up your, your wiring diagrams and your pinouts into a nice, neat package for your Jeep TJ Magnum V8 swap. Here you go. Okay guys, so let's just go over this really quickly. I'm gonna put out this video. I just want it to kind of be a, a short, easy kind of setup video. And what we're gonna show you here is how I set up my notes. And a lot of people, 90% of the questions I get about the Magnum swap is, uh, where did you get your notes from? Where did you get the pinouts from? And guys, it's really simple. They're online. I got on the internet and I just typed into Google 2002 Dodge Ram FSM. FSM stands for Factory Service Manual. And the forums will start popping up and links will stop popping up and some of them will lead to nothing and some of them will, boom, lead you to whatever you want. In front of you here I have, this is my 98 from my previous swap, this is my 98 FSM. And you can see I, I, at the time, didn't know what I was doing and printed out all kinds of crap. But this is the start of the connector pinouts. And up here I have my O2 TJ. You can see the TJ right there. And I also have the O2 Durango right there. And I've got it nice, neat, and in order, perfectly printed out. And I'm going to show you how to print it out once I send, if you ask me, and I send you, or maybe you got, you uh, put on your big boy pants and you went out to the internet and found them yourself. Here's what to do and how to use these PDFs. Here you go. Okay, guys, so go ahead and click on the PDF. These things are smart, meaning once you open them, they can now be clicked. And uh, you can see here is the table contents. Mm -hmm. Find wiring, hover over it, click it, it'll take you to the wiring. From here we're going to look for the pinouts, and we can click there again, and it'll take you there. And here's the beginning uh, of the pinouts. Uh, so from here, uh, we can go ahead and click that button there if you have Adobe Reader to uh, make it a little e easier to scroll through. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and figure out uh, where the wiring starts and ends, me uh, the pinouts where they're, uh, the, what page number they start on, if you can see here, is gonna be 80-1, which translates, out of 1,500 pages, that translates to, over here you can see it's page 684. So we wanna see where they end, uh, and that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down through all the pinouts, the splices, the diagrams, until we get to where you think you wanna stop. I decided to stop right around here. And uh, you get that page number, which translates to page 742. So when you go to print, you wanna make sure you don't print out 1,500 pages. Somebody will be pissed. So there's a little button to click on pages right there, so you can, you can tell it what exact pages you wanna do. And you'll type in the 608, I think it was actually 648, but this is just a mock run through. Uh, to 742, uh, pick your printer and your uh, page size and all that and go for it, hit print. Once you printed them out, you're pretty much good to go, ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now that you've got your PDFs figured out and you've got everything printed out, now what are you gonna do? Now you got this big stack. This is basically what you're gonna end up with. 
Uh, you can see I got the diagrams in the back, the pictures, you're going to have your splicing information. Now on the, on the earlier models, your 98 models, it's going to be much larger because you're going to have the diesel uh, and the 8 liter, the, uh, the V10, also, also part of this. So you're going to need to t pay close attention to what you're freaking doing here, guys, and understand what you need to, to make this happen. So here you got it all printed out. It's easier to go ahead and print everything out and then go ahead and discard as you go instead of going in and printing, going in and printing, and yada, yada, yada. So let's start with the table of contents. You're going to keep this, guys, because it's an easy reference point. If you have a question about something, you can say, oh, I, I, I need to figure out this camshaft position sensor. You can see that it's here, and you can see what page it's on, and then you can turn to that page. So uh, what I did is I go, went ahead and printed them out, and I started going through them. And I said, okay, do I need this? Do I need the, are these, are any of these connectors part of the under hood engine wiring harness? No, remove it, remove it, get it out of here. And I kept mine just to, you know, this is an old, this is an old um, binder that I made. And I just kept it around and I'm glad I did because I can show you guys this. So anyway, you're just going to keep going through there. Get rid of what you don't need. Get rid of what you don't need. And there's lots of it. Blah, blah, blah. Boom, you're going to start coming to stuff that you do need. Crankshaft position sensor. And it reads one, two, three. So if you're looking at one of these things, it looks like... Let me grab one. It looks like one of these. Let's look at the white one because it's easy to see. So see, that's the same thing. So uh, this would be cavity one. Two in the middle and three, obviously. And then you look on here to say what cavity one is. This is a gray and black crank position signal sensor wire. The uh, number two position is the black and light blue, the ground, as I showed you earlier. Uh, you can see it, it's right there. Black with a light blue uh, stripe. And the last one is the violet and white, and that's the 5-volt supply, like I told you earlier. And you can see that there, that the 5-volt supply is all spliced in for all four of these sensors and runs off... Uh, to its single to into a single wire for the PCM. This one little wire supplies five volts to all four of those sensors. Okay, so that's pretty easy to understand. I think you get what get the idea. Now, what like I said, keep going through all this. You'll get to see right here. Be cautious of that. See, it says eight liter. So all this is useless information. Get rid of it. But if you come back here. You can see this is for the 3.9, the 5.2, and the 5.9. All of those are going to be exactly identical for those three engines. Uh, obviously, if you have the 3.9, you'll be two injectors short. So, number seven will be blank on your PCM, and number, where is the eight? And number 13. So, it just won't have a wire in there. Uh, same goes for, the, for your TJ harness. Uh, those will be blank meaning you can then insert that wire into your TJ PCM and run that injector out into the engine. All right, so what you've done now is you've gone through and you've gotten rid of all the junk you don't need. And you've ended up with this. And this is for both. This is, like I said, I did it for the TJ, got rid of everything, put it into this binder. And all I've got left is this little bit right here. So, anyway, that's all you got, that little bit, that's all your TJ stuff, and behind it I've labeled this blank tab here to be the start of the Dodge ones. And then what you do is you start going through here, now this is, we'll have this in, in other videos, and I'm just getting you started on how to get this stuff organized. But then what I do is I start going through here, and I start waiting until I get to, now these connectors are important, this is the black one, this one right here, for your O2 TJs. And the 104 on the next page right here is uh, the gray one, I believe, or maybe it's black too. No, it's gray. So that's that one. Okay, guys, anyway, so you're going to start going through this one by one. 
and uh, determining where your sensors are, how they different, how they are different from your Dodge ones. And what I did is I obviously I have my TJ one up front, and I labeled the Dodge ones so that I can reference them quickly. I also referenced them here, so I know I can find the camshaft position sensor for the Dodge on that page number. And I can see that there's no change, meaning that all these are the same. But that really doesn't matter for me because I'm going to go ahead and plug in all the connectors into the TJ harness uh, exactly as they are on the Dodge harness. So not, that, all that stuff should be uh, should should be fine. I, I shouldn't need to do much to that. Um, uh, there's there's a hundred ways really. After you know, I did my I did it the first way uh, with the '97, and I uh, at this I'm doing it this way now and I know that there's probably a couple other ways that maybe you might think to do it uh, it doesn't matter uh, at the at the end of the day this is really kind of simple uh, it just you know I just kind of you kind of got to just get into it and get get started but it really it is simple guys so uh, basically there you go um, get your get your books together get your notes together and at this point you're going to start seeing how things work and how they go together and you'll you'll you know go back look at the camshaft position sensor on both of them understand why they're different how they're different understand that you have different information here you have the connector and you have the and you have the pinouts what each wire does coming out of there where it goes how it works uh, you're going to have all that information in there and you're going to be able to see how they're different cuz some of them are backwards um so boom, we're going to start there, guys. Uh, now you've got enough information to go out, get your FSM, start tearing your wiring harnesses down, start understanding how they work, start start understanding where your wires go, why they go there, and what they do there. Um, super simple stuff, guys. Really simple. So uh, anyway, here we go. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to do another Magnum swap. I think that for right now, I'm going to go ahead and swap in this old engine. Uh, I'd like to find a 5.9 though first. Um, anyway, we're going to do something. I'm going to do something cool, something real cool. Uh, but I got to start buying parts and I got to start with this wiring harness and I got a lot to do guys. So thanks for everything and thanks for the support and uh, let's do this. Let's have, another, have some more fun.